Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. So, hope you are doing really good and having a productive every single day to get a better tomorrow. So, today we are not going to review another book, Stories We Never Tell by Savi Sharma. So, hope you have already read her previous book. This is not story. Everyone has story. If you have read, you will find like the similar pattern going on this in in this book also. in the stories we never tell so this book is kind of a predictable for me it was not like i i i i'm expecting a huge from the savi sharma this time but like this this book is kind of disappointed me because the same pattern is repeating every single time i like i have read this book on the kindle because i have her previous books i have her previous books like but i thought let's give give it a try to the kindle because i'm traveling a lot so that's why kindle is better option for me and so i read this book i felt like this story is kind of a predictable you can predict what is going to happen in the next story so let's first understand what is the story the, this is a story of the janvi and the ashray where they like janvi is a social media influencer she is a kind of a big person who want like who want followers he is a instagrammer who always check on the phone that how many likes he gets how many comments he gets the kind of life we are living right now so i mean this is a good point that savi sharma touched that very important point of the today's generation where people go for the social media addiction or the social state give importance to the social status than any other thing or than any personal things or the personal touch so that's the kind of a life jan we have the kind of life every influencer wants the likes and more but in real life they are like only a lone person and where in other side ashray we is a hard worker ambitious and a lot of uh, a lot of goal oriented person who want everything in the, everything in life i mean wants to do everything in life to have good family because he is from the orphan he is stay with the mom and he find a friend So we're going to deep dive into the story later part, but this is a story of a Janvi and Ashray, and how they met, how they cross a me cross the road, and what happens after that. So this is how this the basic story structure of this, the basic plot of this story. But this is again the same. There are four characters which these two books have the same same pattern repeating again and again. I thought uh, Savi will experiment something different, just to ch- change the plot. and the story is are lo- are around the janvi and the ashwin so the book starts with the janvi where he where is she she is the kind of a instagrammer or she kind of a social media influencer but she is having constantly breakups and she like literally in the depression phase she get the addiction she get addicted to addicted to drinks and she goes to the psychiatrist i mean this is how the story happens over the janvi where in other side where we if we talk about the ashre he is from the orphan like the kind of a poor background he like he get he, he get he is from the orphan he is staying with the mom he is he is like he he wants to do the hard work he wants to do the hard work a goal oriented person he applied to the business he applied to the one of the marketing role and he get that placed in that role the other two character in this book is kavya and rishi so the basically kavya is a close friend of uh, close friend of janvi and the rishi is colleague of colleague of ashray because he met her after the that business problem business for which is company where he go, get a role of marketing consultant so after that when he started they like they both are having the good life where like janvi is going to the depression phase so he she goes to the psychiatrist where he has having a good life uh, where the it uh, with ashra having a real kind of a good life very do thing for the family after that he met the rishi and in the like there is a twist comes about the sakshi that sakshi enters in the enters in the life of ashra they start engaging each other but the kind of sakshi didn't want any of this she don't want to get together so he gets depressed he get like demotivated the same pattern happens here also and again like he was doing really good job and he he brought a house also but after some points after the sakshi after when she sakshi left left him he, her, her, his mother dies so he get into the depression and he started to get panic attacks so because of that panic attack he he, he go to the psychiatrist now here is the comes the connection point where they both like he is the janvi and here is the actually they both coming to the same psychiatrist for the getting the treatment and you know what is going to happen next like if you have read the fault in our stars you can imagine imagine the situation really well 
if you have not read fault in our star i highly suggest you to go check that book the kind of story i mean i am like when i when i came to know about the when i reached this this point i am ready to like i am i co related to the fault in our stars i mean the same situation and the same kind of stuff how happened not exactly but the same kind of stuff maybe 10% 20% happening in this book so they met to the psychiatrics and what happens next you know really well whether they end up meeting each other or they don't meet each other what happens to their life will jan we get rid of that disorder will jan we able to get out of her phone and get out of instagram and where the ashra is able to find his love where he able to he can he stop getting panic attacks so this is all about the story i'm not going to part what happens not because there is surprise at the end of the book and if you want to read it then there is a description link in the description go buy this book and start reading it but well i cannot so whom should this book should be i i don't recommend this book for the people who have, who read a lot or the who people who read around 5 to more than 5 to 10 books a year because you will get disappointed at this book because this kind of story is quite really really predictable and if you have read her previous book then you you can get i'm guarantee you you can predict predict the story without like by reading just blurb you can predict the story i mean this is the problem with i guess the ravi sharma's book the story is becoming quite predictable i know the writing style is improved a hell lot of like improved a really really well but when it comes to the plot i don't really like plot always disappoints me even though there are previous books the first one was really good after that second one the same pattern again this book same pattern i don't know why savisha mai is doing this by doing keeping the same same pattern because maybe her audience want this kind of stuff that's why i know she touches the one of the important point about the social media addiction that's a really good point but she should add some twist there should be some twist and turns in this book where you feel like okay what is going to next in me kya hone wala hai ab like that kind of the urge that should be generated in the reader but when we read her books that's not you don't get any kind of feeling so i request savi to change the pattern of writing i mean this is only i can say i wish the plot the thing is the plot even though book is around 100 like 150 to 200 pages the plot is really so you don't feel the you don't get that urge that okay what is in the next chapter what is in the next chapter you can able to skip any chapter and you can you can start from that chapter or, or if you are not a good reader you can skip that chapter and you will not read this book forever again so that's the only like this is why i feel disappointed with this book also in the previous book i felt the same disappointment where the plot is slow and the story becomes predictable except the first book but after that this same thing happened again and again i hope the next book will bring some twist and bring some turns in the life of the, in the life of the character otherwise there is no use of like i don't feel like reading those book if story becomes predictable and like story the plot becomes slow so it's not like that i like really really like this book if you are a beginner only or if you are fan of the short easy stories then this and then i can only recommend you this book but if you are a really good reader if you are avid reader then this book is definitely not for you don't pick up this book if you want to get disappointed because if you can predict movies then you can predict stories easily so this is all about the today's book if you want me to review any other book then put the put the book name in the comment i will definitely try to read it and make a video if you want if you want me to have any suggestion then go on the instagram follow me where i put a lot of things and don't forget to check the quotes from this book at the end of this video i put like i have started putting the quotes of each and every book at the end of the video so you can get what this book is all about so that's all for the today's video see you in the next one